building up to be what we just saw on Nuke, because that was damn terrifying. It's Astralis taking on phase in the second map of the night. Is that, when you say Estepag, weighing in on the B side, they're gonna give him the opportunity to play Pop Dog here in the pistol round, so that one should be interesting. It looks like FaZe on a posture towards inner. Yeah, it could be a spawn play for S-Tag, so we'll see if that remains the same for Astralis. A double inner, Glaive with the nade, ready to chuck it up the ramp at a moment's notice. It's not ramp though, FaZe want to come in from upper. There's the deep smoke down. Nico's going to hop out with his knife, flying through the Sky Dupree and Device with a taps down. Oh, the bomb does cross only just here for FaZe. They can plant that at least, but Glaive with the nade coming in late. Not that much damage. Oh, this other peak could be good. The device is already decked. Rain off the site. Brokey trades. Kierby late on the lurk out A is going to have to come in and do something massive. The bomb's not even planted for him. Oh, well. <laughs> That's Kierby's oh, yeah. round all said and done. He just walks through connector and dies. And uh, that's, very, that's so sad for Kierby. Oh, he was the only guy who finished, uh, well, you know, not negative for FaZe on the end of that last map. Well, not negative, also meaning he positive. not positive. Well, he was equal. Uh, he was yeah, just, come on now. Was zero. I think so. one is, is that not one? Is that not positive? Are we, you know, I'm looking for positives here. No, it's not positive because positive means more than, you know, like so. In a KD stance, positive would be a one, higher number of kills and, versus the deaths. Yeah, yeah. What, but so he was equal. Equal. Is one a positive? Yes, one is what, technically yeah, but what, a positive. One is zero. positive, but he was zero. And so that there is just equal sure. kills and deaths. Look, I you guys it. are from England and we're not going to pretend to know math. Okay, so. That's true. Have... Dupree throwing a nade up through the pop window. I imagine that would have been pretty devastating. Oh, oh that would have worked. <laughs> Endpoint precision. Man, it's just, it's just rough, isn't it? Dupree's holding on. He's got aggressive. He's the one now in pop in this round. I, I envisioned that's how it was going to keep up because it was him and Bubsky leaning towards this side of the map anyway. So I'm imagining he's going to take the reins there and we'll then try and play around Magisk and he'll become like the, the Bubsky in this situation with Madge is taking like the Dupree role. If only there was a Bubsky on the team. Yeah, man, if only, right? Wild. So strange. A fake, but they're hitting inner with the bomb. Device is already here with a the scout. There's a double setup for Astralis because of how slow this round began. And well, it's not really doing a whole lot in terms of defending from phase. Device, the back of the site, bomb planted against him and no one's giving up anything. This is smart from FaZe, playing tucked in. Kebby's been spotted, but he's not giving away more than a wiggle, more than a jiggle. Nico, does he get checked? Glaive's looking for feet. He's hunting down. Nico's crossed round, and Glaive knows. Device hits a shot. Oh, Kebby wow. trades. Good swing from FaZe. They keep things safe, and even the tag from the scout won't be enough to get the kill. FaZe may have won this round via time alone, and Astralis might look to save their guns. Yeah, that's certainly what it amounted to. Didn't give them that opening. There's the kill finally on KRB, who stays alive for so long inside of the site. Nico having played up close oil. Well, he bought some time as well. It's so frustrating when you can see the feet under the train. Yet, you just don't get the chance to shoot. You don't get the opportunity to take the shot. And guess what? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yeah. I think... did Wayne Gretzky and Michael Scott at the same time. Wow. Two for one. Yes. It's a discount deal. And for FaZe, it's the low money that gets them the win. Galil's in armor with nothing left. But who was KRB fist bumping there? That's what we have to ask ourselves. Uh, big question. Hmm. Maybe it's Sonic. Maybe he's playing for the other side. You never know. Yeah, he announces the eighth man. Here's the push down ramp. Oh, S tag meets an unfortunate demise caught with a nade out as well. And while they do deal with Nico, it's a four on four. I, I imagine you're still kind of tempted if you're Astralis, but they're not. Look at them. They're over in Ivy. They're already doing a little jog. But another kill now for Magis. They're in a four on three. They just don't have a kit. And they're so far away that they can't actually go for this, which is a bit of a shame considering how much they've gone away with since that bomb's gone down. On the upside, though, they now retrieved a, a weapon. They get out of this with three guns intact, a deagle and armor on Dupree. And all in all, they've got a good chance to go for this in this next round 
with money to buy up kits as well. So, you know, this is a, a nice save as much as it kind of hurts knowing that Astralis had a good chance in that retake. They're now set up for the round that's right around the corner. People have talked about this before, just kind of moving away from the game quickly. I'd love to see an event uh, where where you don't know who everyone is, where everyone's numbered or, or colored or whatever, and, and the teams are anonymous, and it's like green, purple, blue, yellow, and instead of device, Dupree, Majisk, et cetera. And then you have to figure out who you're playing against, or, and that, or the audience can. I don't know. You could incorporate that in some way. Do you get like extra points if you guess like midway through the game? I haven't, oh, we're definitely I haven't done the. I, I tell you what, like, I haven't like, written out the plan yet. I just would love to see if we could guess what teams are playing. Probably could via some positions, but okay. Or well, you like idea. blur out their faces in interviews, and then everyone can just talk mad trash. That would be kind of fun. Yeah, sure. Rain opening this round up onto Dupree. Oh, naded out, of course, by Glaive. And now into a four on four. Utility still flying in to enable Astralis to keep taking these fights. Nico has wrapped around behind everybody. He's got the round in the palm of his hand, but he doesn't quite know where he's meant to be looking. Glaive going to offer up a backpack. Oh, man. Nico and Brokey doing damage, but sandwiched between Magisk and S-Tag, that's where Brokey found himself. For Nico now, well, he dropped Glaive's backpack earlier on. He's got to load the rest of FaZe into his now to try and carry them across the finish line in this round, but they're already on the angle. And Nico, he cannot see even sustain a single bullet. This hasn't gone well for Nico, who did find a ton of space, but he's going to continue to elude Astralis for the time being. Very doable. Ooh. Oh, S-Tag. It looked like Nico wanted to go Ivy, but time does not play in his hand. And S-Tag's got the flank. It's not needed. Matt just steals it away. He actually carves a path towards the orb to pick that one up as well. Look at them all. All the fans. All of you at home. Hello. I know you can't hear me, but hello. Perhaps you want to get in on the action. I'll remind you. ESL.gg slash fan cam. Be there. Act, act a little crazy and they will ban you. I'm not gonna lie. I've had to evade a ban two or three times myself from that Discord, but still here. Ooh, B rush for FaZe. S tag's close. He hears them. They just go right through with the smoke down. S tag sprays. Oh my, everyone's jumping to evade shots and they can not. S tag gets three and cold. Blink and you miss it in a clutch. How has this fallen apart? And just holding up, uh, and Cold's going to immediately die to the orb. There were four players here with a flank included on Dupree, very quick behind. Oh my, that's an excellent round for S-Tag. Yeah. Even though they get through the molly with limited issues, it's them jumping, hitting their heads, and they just fly into the spray. Three headshots on the mag. <laughs> S-Tag, he's got class. Oh, we love an S-Tag. He knows. Man, he's mastering playing up to the camera. And I'm really, I mean, I'm just so happy for us Tag as an individual getting to, to have this opportunity to play with Astralis, you know, like his storyline was one that was always so weird, especially in like the early stages of his career, you know, like being put in teams, uh, filling a role and then like, you know, have there, there was that weird time, what was it, heroic, where heroic, like, yeah, yeah, got benched and then unbenched and then he comes back playing a different role. It was like, you know, he never really was allowed to like look or feel particularly comfortable. And it wasn't until the later stages of heroic that we really saw what he can bring to a team. Well, being, you know, side by side with Astralis now, if there was ever a question mark about can he blossom as a player, well, that has to be sort of asked now. I mean, you you have to, you know, spread your wings and fly if you get over to Astralis. Yeah, and if we look at his earlier teams, he came through the same route that most top Danish players have, which is tricked esports, right? The farm team for Denmark that have had so many of the great players that we know and love under their wing at one point. God hunted himself. But yeah, that's a, a story for another time, because right now, it's FaZe's yeah. time to get out into A. Very... Oh, God. Well, Dupree with the spray, fast in pop. Just back to the ladder, and the round's done. Brokey falls, it's four on the board for Astralis. Dupree looking deadly in the pop dog. Yeah, I was just thinking of a new TV show. We'll call it The 100. Not the 100, be the 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm just saying. Just you got any more, or is it just a name? Like, it's well, very thinking, early like, in the pitching process. Or? So, like, we'll put Hunden on a spaceship, and we'll send him out of here. <laughs> well, 
I'm just kidding. Trace Donis Aranthus, no, ladies and gentlemen. You can't prove anything. My name, Chad Burchill, of course. I'm kidding. It is Trace. Astralis, though, they're in control. They're up to 4-2. This is a scrappy start with phase winning of force and back-to-back -back rounds where Astralis have done the dirty right back down. Heavy outside control, not back to that four inner. Device has got the orb there, or two inner, rather. We've got Pop, S tag again, taking his spawn. And they could be good damage, Broke. He's going to move ahead of it. Imagine it's double opener on Ivy as they push in through the smoke. They appear and disappear as quick as they come. Cold shot in the side of the head, not ready for Glaive after he already spotted two. And S tag to close it out as Astralis do a flawless round on the A bomb site. Lovely stuff. Yeah, that guy right there with all the changing colors and stuff. Not sure how long he's been sitting there with his flashing lights. <laughs> May want to check on it. I him. would be, yeah, man, I'd be kind of a bit mental. Like, if that's been like that for like three days, you know, like, I think you're well past the point of no return there. So, just goes outside into normal daylight and he's like, it's 2-1 color, just freaking out. <laughs> 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 well, Faye's going to try and fake the pop early. No one from Astralis was nearby. They're already leaning heavy with two players into this B site. And Dupree now throwing his util into the pop dog. But he's not even committed. And we've already seen S Tag just churn through phase on these B pushes. They got two smokes, two nades. They can drop those down the ramp and in towards the connector to try and give them a, a line into the bomb site. Or they can do the old, you know, one upper, one in front of. Uh, this ramp area to allow you to split through both a little more safely. But Glaive was like already moving over towards B. He's already got a bit of an inkling that it is going to be the B player matches. He's eight double O. He's like got above and beyond Bames John. Oh, I'm going to stop talking. Rain just deletes him with the Deagle. Yeah, but it doesn't start there for FaZe. In fact, it's starting to end right there. s -Pack comes alive in the nighttime with three to end the round out. Albeit, there wasn't a whole lot in FaZe's pocket going into that one, but good stuff, good inner hold, and Estrella still firmly in the driver's seat, hand on the clutch. Frustration running high over there in the FaZe camp, as you can tell. I feel like we've watched kind of like Brokey grow up in real time almost. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He, he, yeah, he's evolving. He's upgrading and really improving as a player. But right now, FaZe are having a tough time in this series. He's aging, some might even say. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> I'll do it. Ooh. Yeah, man. It's almost like as more time passes, people get older. It's oh, a weird one. It's a conspiracy. Vice, is he going to flick in time? Is he going to flick in time? It's the question we're all... Oh, he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to flick at all, but he gets blinded off the angle. He's going to hide at the server, in the server. It's a new meta. It's so meta, in fact, I don't know if Device is ready for it. Hide the server. In the server. I Around see. the server. Fake Molly. Look at this. Glaive just threw a Brokey Molly. don't buy it one bit. He's like, nah, I heard an AWP earlier. And Device, he's a slime lord, man. I'm waiting. <laughs> they flash. They hope that that bakes a peak. S tags getting aggressive at B and does win that one fight. Oh. Roki's going to best device in the battle of patience down towards Ivy. And now this A split can look to come through. S tag is beginning a rotation. Glaive has got to hold the fort. A one man army here. And Glaive already bested. Now leaves it all onto the back of just S tag. And he's going to maybe look to save here in this 1v4. They have so much money, right? The AK is, of course, valuable, but even getting exits here could, could be nice for Astralis to break FaZe's money just that little bit more, but s -Tag doesn't know how deep they are. They're getting deeper by the second. Kiebi's pushing through CT, and so s -Tag might get rewarded for this patience here. Regardless, it's a phase round. They pick it up. Great display of patience from Brokey as well, right? Like, he, he had a feeling, he had an idea, and he fully ran with it until Device went for the peak. Eventually, it was going to happen. Brokey, double down with the AWP in this A site. It's up to three for FaZe. Bit of a streak for Astralis, put to an end. Five in a row as FaZe finally find a, another rifle round. But as said, the money, it's out of control for Astralis. They can keep on buying until that lost bonus is here. Assuming FaZe is start, it will start to streak, we'll have to wait to see.
and the double orb. Well, it wasn't on Dupree. It wasn't on S-Tag, but it was on Magis. Four players of Astralis now picking up this I weapon in the series so far. I honestly think they are just looking to master everything. Just have five players that can do it all, and then have two more that can do it all. <laughs> and that's the secret recipe. Ooh. Vice tries to land that flick. It looked convincing. It didn't land. Bit of info for him. They're going to leave him to anchor down at this B site single-handedly. Dupree and Glaive getting close to Maid and Raid waiting on the other side. Look at Pop. Look at what. Well, look at what S Tag was just. Look at what he's doing. He's waiting on the ladder. Oh. Surely. Dead. Oh. oh! You try and check me? No way. That's smart. S Tag barrels up. Gets Nico on the ladder. Surgical in his position on the ladder. They call him Doctor Whom, and he's a slime lord, man. That's what he is. <laughs> Deep free. <laughs> Waiting at main. Just trying to be a nuisance. And FaZe, they don't really have many options left at this point. They're moving out over here towards B. Magisk is holding Ivy. Does get smoked off, so they know there's someone here. But that's only one man. And one man ain't worth worrying about just yet if you're Astralis. They've already banked with two players into this B site. One of those being S-Tag, who's just been a, a real staple of this B site, as has often been the case on his career in this map. Magisk has deleted Kirby through the smoke. At that point, I'm molding, right? You haven't been able to do anything, and that's what happens to you. Flash is good. S-Tag going to escape, though. Narrowly lives to fight another day, and he's calling that they are out. They are going deep, and they're getting into this site in a very big way, but Device wins his bomb. fight, and the bomb is now dropped upper. The round is what? over, and Astralis is flawless. They keep five alive and lock in round number seven. So why has the bomb gone in upper? Has anyone thought about that? That's a great question, Trace. Yeah, Astralis were double set up for upper, right? They had that classic a bait and switch where you have the AWP at the back and, and S-Tag playing close. If he doesn't get flashed, he can fight ramp from an off position. If he does, well, he goes into upper like that and Cold takes the bomb. He could have gone down ramp with his team who had so much ground <laughs> because the AWP wasn't looking at lower. It was only watching the heavens. So that could have been a plan for FaZe and a bit more money. They still can buy, but yeah, curious one. With 15 seconds left, there was no time for Cold to lose that fight. He had to win it or it was an Astralis round and that's where we find ourselves. Another flick for Device perhaps? Yeah, about time he gets punished for that peak. Back-to-back -back rounds. Brokey's ready this time. And Brokey very quick as well on that AWP. Not one Astralis can sleep on here. S-Tag back to his pop shenanigans. 13 and 3. Dastardly stuff. Phase, honestly, sooner the better in my eyes. Like, you got this pick. Go for an execute. At this point, Astralis don't have a lot of util anyway. Faze don't want to give more time for Astralis to clear positions like S-Tag has done up the ladder at the perfect timing. Cold's ho holding the flank, but he can't see S-Tag here. And it's not like Faze are coming to rejoin from the T-spawn. What this allows for S-Tag is if these B players leave and try and go back down through Pop, he's going to be able to shut them out. Oh, hi, Faze. <laughs> hey, and now yeah. back down through the Pop. They're already out, but S-Tag's oh. ahead of them. Now back to the pop dog. He's ready and waiting for another fight. Cole just decides, like, I don't even want to fight this guy. I don't even want to do it. And inside of the site, Magisk has deep down another. S-Tag still just waiting for Cold Zera. And there he is, dropping to his death. S-Tag giving us one hell of a series right now. And Brokey all alone. No one around to help him. Dupree there finishes it off. And Astralis, this is dominant as Nuke. Eight to three. Faze in a very rough spot. There's no real money here, so it's just going to be a partial buy. And that there could mean even more rounds for Astralis before this buy comes on in for Faze. And when we've spoken to Astralis, they've said things like, yeah, okay, you know, these new additions, Bubsky has tagged, they're playing into our system, but we're giving them the room. We're letting them do what they want to do in, in these crazy times. And S Tag climbing up the ladder, doing what Bubsky did in that opener against Fnatic, and just being a, an absolute nuisance in the back line for Faze, causing so many problems that get. It's worse by the second. Glaive gets there as Cold drops on the molly, and he will not live to fight another day. Phase, they've got to go. That Molotov pushes him right forward into the waiting arms of Astralis, and this is just madness oh. right now. Pistols out. Glaive with another flashback in for more fights. Astralis want to send them home, and they're doing a great job of it. Flawless anti-eco. Phase barely get out of main, and boy, oh boy, they must be feeling the pain. 
Are we getting back to that time where Astralis start winning everything again? What it smells like. I tell you what, if it was this Astralis that's winning everything, you can't even go into it and go, ah, oh, but it's boring when Astralis are winning everything. <laughs> like, no, because this is exciting, man. Like, the things they do. They're applying pressure yeah. so fast, and it's just, it, it's phenomenal to watch a team game played the way that Astralis approaches it. Yeah, no, 100%. And, like, you know, it used to be very methodical, but now, like, since things have loosened up a bit and they've had to get used to playing with new players and they've bought new ideas, Ooh. it does look like a very scary team indeed. Lave looking for this trade, and he just oh. cancels Kirby out. S-Tag's gone past it, but Cold, he finally gets his revenge. We are happy for Cold's error because he has been bested by S-Tag just time and time. At oh, Device Ooh, ain't yeah. winning any awards for that Molotov. And now they're close in this site, but Device, is he ready for the man on upper? No, he's not. It's Nico wrapping around from behind. Has left this in a four on two phase. They might have done it. They might have got themselves a fourth. And they needed it big time. Wave's going to have max cash. Like, you you definitely look in if you're Astralis. You go for a kill at least here because you, you've got so much pressure on FaZe. You want to keep it up. You want to keep that economy low. Don't let them build in their first round. Uh, Brokey dropped as well. There's still Nico up close, Glade. Oh, it's checked by Dupree now. Now the wheels are turning. Now Astralis are moving. There's not a lot of time for the defuse, but they're getting all the kills. Glade with a third, and it's cold. Trying to spam back. Dupree's got what? the cover. Astralis pick it up in a 2v4. No. It's not even fair, man. No. Unbelievable. Like Dupree's laughing. He didn't even expect to win that round. They're like, well, we just go. We just do it. We just win. 2v4. Two players survive at the end. Oh, my. And, you know, for us looking at these player cams and you just see the body language of FaZe, it's just not very uh, foretelling, I think. It's not, it's not a good vibe you get out of it. So they will lose that one. That one's going to sting in the morning. Yeah. And in the evening. And in the night. And right now, even. Probably stings just a little bit. Oh, that's just, that's Heartbreak Hotel. That's phases round. Astralis, they didn't look like they were going, yeah, like, yeah, let's let's win this round. They're like, yeah, let's get some exits. And then suddenly two kills presented. Nico jumps to try and avoid the player wrapping his left side and instead walks into the one on his right. Good night, Nico. Gone again. Astralis with an opening kill off the back of the AWP and Device is doubled once more. Phase a quick execute into B. It's what the doctor has prescribed. And what else can they do? Well, anything at this point might be a good start. Here we go. We've got S-Tag inside, and this is where the brunt and the remaining hit phase can be. Brokey with a nice shot. Trying to level out the playing field just a little bit. Glaive on a big flank. 2v4 in the post plant. Phase have the bomb secured and planted. Brokey has pushed up to the back of the yard. He's going to leave his teammate in rain there on the bomb train or thereabouts. Brokey good for one. Just looking on from the upper side, finds himself a frag, and it's just on rain. Haven't found him yet, but they're going to find him sooner rather than later. And another round for Strauss, 11-4 on the board. Yikes. It's just so methodical. Like, that retake, they just send one player at a time. They get a kill. They instantly stop peeking things. They let the other opponent come out. Like, the player in the clutch by all doesn't even know where to look because he hears Magist run right above him. And then Glaive drops down from rafters. Like, there's just so many spots. Astralis are clearing out everything, communicating, robotic. This is just destruction. So 11.25 was the earliest we've ever finished here. <laughs> Are we going to beat that today as we're currently what? What's the time? 10.40. And this first half is almost over. This game's just started. Astralis looking to give us the hour and a half best of three classic. Oh, yeah. Really not much to stop in them, right? FaZe have had every... I don't want to say every chance, right? These have been great rounds for Astralis, but like even even that four on two, two rounds ago, that would have been phase, you know, potentially building a, a six round half, potentially, right? Like they could have got anything below that. Three is not enough. It just seems like, you know, like I was saying with the, the player cams, you get a sense of frustration in the phase cam, or excuse me, the phase cams. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Phase cams. Phase camp. Phase, phase camp. plan. So there's there's 21 kills on all of phase, and there's like 62, I think. I only did it quickly it was as we went in on all of Astralis. So once again, like, just individually, Astralis are lights out right now. And phase, they're going to try and pick up the pace. Cole does get an entry into B. And Astralis, they immediately pull back off of A, and they're now going to realize that that was not the move that was required here. As they try and get back into position, Ooh. FaZe have gone fast into this site. 
and are trying to just run amok. They deal with Dupree up in heaven, and they're into a three-on-three, -three, a chance for a phase to find themselves a fourth round at the end of the half. Rain, I think he was heard getting tagged there up on the train, so Device is ready for it. Nico, the only man with any HP, is now the man left in a 1v3 to try and secure this fourth round, but he's been patient. And he's got that kill dead to rights, but any more for Nico. Magisk and Glaive on the other side. It's the two brain boxes of Astralis versus the man with the plan for FaZe. He's now going to put that plan into action, though, and trying to anticipate what Astralis do is like guessing the number on a dice roll. It, you know, it can be done. It's just not likely. I don't know. At the casinos I go to, it's always seven for some reason. It's just unfortunate. It might just be a seven here for Nico. Yeah, this is the last thing you expect if you're Nico. Like, one's flanking T spawn, the other is holding on to B. Astralis grouped up initially to try and cover this ground, and now they've cleared out so much. They know that Nico has to pick a site soon. 15 on the clock. Nico can't keep running. He's got a plant. He's trying to clear Ivy with 10 seconds. He's now got to start sprinting, put the smoke down, get the plant, but there's the cover. Magis waits for no one, nothing, and Astralis, 12 rounds to three, a dominant half to close out this first one. Let's see if they can make the second just as quick. Frustration's running a little bit high here on the phase side. And of course, rightfully so. If you're Astralis, you're running the board. You're running the train here as we take a look and go further into the rabbit hole that is, well, Face Clan just absolutely struggling. 
Welcome back, everybody. It's our Pro League. Season 12, Harry Hugo and myself. And there's Coldzera and Brokey. And a pistol round, so perhaps a chance to turn it around here for FaZe Clan, who are obviously back against the wall at this point. Yeah, they got 11 forward on Nuke. They won the pistol, lost the four, so things cannot repeat there. However, it's got to start somewhere, and this has got to be the place. FaZe with one on B. Astralis are not waiting around, and I like the aggression. I like the run as they gun into this B-bomb site. It's fast and it's ferocious, all right, but Kirby here is trying to tame Astralis with this USP. Vice gets a little too aggressive there. And now it's just Magisk and S Tag left in this one in a two on five. Well, actually just S Tag. Now this is quite the trial by fire to navigate this one. Once he got up his sleeve, peeking from upper and just gets deleted by Nico. It's a flawless pistol round for FaZe to kickstart their CT half. Still a long climb back here for FaZe too. You can see the disparity between 12 and four. Even, you know, you Londoners, you two can figure that out. Yeah, dude, math might not be our strong point, but maths, well, yeah, also not well, our strong point. Yeah, I'm from Alabama, so I share your pain. Nonetheless, K Kona that and a Keck W. It's FaZe Clan pick up what is the first pistol. Let's see if they can hold on to these rifles in this purchase. They've bought up here, and obviously they feel like they need the firepower. Would make a lot of sense, considering there's five deagles over on the side of Astralis. That's not a welcome party. Yeah, this is a, a nice buy for Astralis, right? They're not over-investing. They can still get their guns in the third, but there are very much ways to make these rounds happen with just deagles. It's five rifles, though, Trace. You'd think that's a little bit too much. I'll have to wait and see. I don't know about you, but... When there's a spider in the house, you shoot it, okay? So maybe that's kind of like what FaZe are trying to apply here in this situation. Your bedroom full of bullet holes. I played the fifth. <laughs> oh. And we got some creeping and crawling going on in this round, and oh, it's Astralis getting out through main. Brokey's still hunting, and that there is okay. a little overzealous. It's a man advantage. Snatched back by Kirby into this three-on-three, -three. and Astralis, they group down here towards Ivy. Phase, they're trying to get ahead of the curve, and they're anticipating that this is looking to end in a B play, and that could not be further from the truth. They send Kirby into B. They've got Rain playing the connector. Cold Zera down here towards Ivy. He could lock this whole round in single-handedly. I was bigging him, bigging him up back on Nuke, but he's had a very unfortunate time here on train. He gets the info. He spotted a player there on that peak. Knows now that they're not out, and so he takes this deep lie, deals with one. Device follows up with a deagle, but he's so damn low that this round should be impossible. Taps it to try and bait a peak. Rain's already in the sight and making this much noise. He's dead to Kirby. So FaZe, they get that one back under control, just about to claim a fifth round. But that was only pistols. Now the real buy, now the real meat and potatoes comes on in. That guy had a fidget spinner. Yeah, there were a few, like, in, there was a dude wearing, like, a solid metal skull mask up in the top right. There was a guy, I don't know if it actually was a real guy cosplaying as, like, a T model or if it was just a picture. I couldn't tell. Wow. But he had, like, the whole... Uh, Is that still, huh? Let's yeah, see. he was. Let's see if we can get the replay man on that one and perhaps we can run it back via EVS. But either way, should be a pretty even bout now, even though Nico is Don Scout. We're looking at rifles on both sides. A trade's going to come through. Nico's good for one. But as I said, 4v4 is now what we were left with. I ain't shot from Nico, but yeah, it's forced to rotate in. kirby has gone to fill that void. Astralis slow on Ivy again. No open in this round. Flash forward is cold. He sees one, nothing more. The bomb's not there either. It's back in spawn. By signing up that left side smoke, so Magis can move up. And the Molotov alongside it. Smoke deep for phase will keep Astralis back, and it's timed after Astralis' utility. It will outlast it. And so Astralis, and to use the time to their advantage, waiting the clock down some more. The yeah, sees nothing B. There is nothing B. And so that leaves phase with three on the right side. Oh. Does it, Hugo? Yeah. For now. Does it, Hugo? Not for long. That did leave them with three on the right site. 
But now, they've taken a bit of a left turn and they've sent two over towards B. Cold Zara. Bested right away. Rain not able to hold the line. Device just deals with them all. And well, now in phase as well as we do, this might have to be a save here. <laughs> And that's not even, you know, like just for the, the joke of it. Well, they've got no money, right? Like they, they really don't have an option to go for this one. And even saving is like a pretty grim end to the round. You would have loved to at least have gotten away with more damage here because this is a very profitable round for Astralis where you, even on the back of saving these weapons, still actually don't have anything in the follow-up round outside of this AK and M4. Uh, you know, you, you're going to have... It's it's just really rough. They're probably going to have to force, right? Yeah. It's their first loss, so they're getting the minimum amount of money for it. That causes problems for Rain and Nico, who even if they did eco, wouldn't be able to buy up against fourteen. And so it's probably got to be an investment. And it's not even like these two rifle players, as is often the case, can drop anything over to help out because they themselves don't have any money. Yeah. So yeah, this is this this even could be it. Like that, losing that immediately into the first rifle could have just decided their fate. And now it puts a lot of pressure on these two rifled up players to do damage in this round here and now. It wasn't even the worst case scenario like on Nuke where they lose to the second round force, right? But Astralis put up two kills with Deagles, forces oh. rebuys, and those rebuys are what has forced FaZe to force now, right? Like $500 saved on two players and and yeah, Brokey and Kiabi keep their cash as well, but nice nades. One of those rifles already out of the count. Yeah, you know, there's no one even with armor to pick that up. Nico has a scout. He could swap, but it's best case scenario. They go for it. Brokey on the scout and Glaive starting off, finding rain. It's not going to get any easier from here, FaZe. Nico's looking for a kill above the, uh, the red train. I saw the way up Ivy. No one's even considering this position. No one's watching it. And Nico can't see anything elsewhere. He is going to get shot in the back as Device comes out from Ivy with a man by his side. The attention is drawn and it's all there for Device. Looking for a third as well. This man will fall finally, but it's not going to matter because the round comes in the favor of Astralis. And really losing that 13th round has pretty much locked this victory in for Astralis, as sad as it is to say. You know, if you really want to look at it, having to force buy here means that now you're just force buying till the game ends, essentially, right? Whether that's you winning or that's Astralis winning, you were just buying every single round. You know, you could eco in this next one, but, you're, you, you know, if you eco then, you're given over 15 for one full buy up against it, potentially. And so, you know, it kind of becomes like a matter of picking your poison. You know, do you want to have guns, but be one step away from just having it over? Or do you want to have two four spies to try and deny that? Neither of those options are pretty. It feels like FaZe might be going for the eco here. And honestly, I actually kind of like that, right? You, you know, four spies are not pretty. And you'd rather have one proper gun round to give it a go. Team knife, never fun. But not the end of the world. Not around like this. Flash down Ivy from Kiebi. And of course, Wait. it's the one round. The Astralis send no one on Ivy. Estag could lose the bomb here. He's going to have to hear these footsteps. Uh, oh dear, they're right behind him. He's lining up utility. The flank is in. Estag is running. He doesn't know what he's running from. But now the realization kicks in. Throwing the bomb oh. back across. Estag looking for support. No way he what? lives. He gets two. And now they know where the other CTs are. Right behind them. The 180 device jump shot. Brokey covers. And it's going to be Dupree looking to stop them getting out through main. The bomb has been planted and surely FaZe can't make this interesting, but Cole with another. Big plays being made here. Glaive with a slick shot on the Cold Zera. Left him down to a one on two. Brokey on 39 HP, make it zero. Astralis have gone up to map and series point here over FaZe Clan. They've trade, uh, trained S-Tag well, right? Like playing the objective, throws the bomb yeah. across. And you look at that and you're thinking, okay, Estac Shirley's going to hear them any second now. The elephant's marching down Ivy. He's throwing lots of Utah, right? There's mollies down. There's players yeah. communicating, clearing spots, calling what they're looking at. So a hectic start for Astralis, but hey, they passed the wound pretty well. Face lovely eco from them, but unfortunately, we can't really look into it too much at 15-5. Here's their one buy. Can they make it worth it? Well, Astralis aren't messing around. They dumpster all this utility into the site and they barrel in. 
Cold puts up a valiant hold, but everyone else is gone, and it's all on to Kirby. Astralis, they might do it. They might break our record for the shortest day yet. As they are now one kill away from taking FaZe's map pick in an even more dominant fashion than Nuke. Glaive made noise on the ladder there. That didn't tempt Kirby back. He's still rapping. Astralis aren't even planting the bomb. They're just waiting. They're like, Kirby, man, we'll give you a bit of a chance. You got time, right? That's what we'll give you. But you don't want to give Kirby too much of a chance. This is MVP at a major once upon a time. So let's see. First man down, Kirby in the hot seat, caught with a nade out. And, well, this is pretty wow. rough now for old mate Kirby. What could he do? He's getting wrapped. Death Tag is there to lock it in. And Astralis, they 2-0 this series. They look incredibly dominant. And sadly for FaZe, it all falls flat when they have to deliver the goods. Astralis looking so damn crisp.